We're very excited about this. <laughs> this year, you will actually be able to playtest new features in betas, snapshots, and previews just a few days from now. Minecraft Live just happened, and although they did show the first ever Minecraft Legends gameplay, as well as the new Minecraft Dungeons update, let's be honest, you're most excited about 1.20. I won't keep you waiting regarding what's inside it. Here is a very brief trailer they put together to show off the features in less than a minute. There is a brand new wood type, which can do some interesting new things. There are some new decorative blocks, and there is a camel mob, which is not just cute, but actually does something really cool. And also, there are other features we'll be learning about soon. I'm gonna dive through everything we know about this update now, including the release date, the weird way some of these blocks work, and also the new set of default character skins which will be added to the game. But first, let's talk about something important, which is the subscribe button. You can hit it to learn more about Minecraft news, and it does seem like there's going to be a lot of that soon. It is the season of 1.20 right now, but let's talk first about what 1.20 is and when it's coming out. Because here's the crucial piece of information, the specific update name is not yet decided. It is the 1.20 update, and this is the first time where instead of just calling it the update aquatic or the never update, they're actually referring to it by its version number. The short explanation of that is that they haven't decided on a theme for this update yet and they're waiting to see uh, where it kind of takes them. And the long explanation is that they've learned from previous updates when they show features in the Minecraft live trailers that it takes them all year just to catch up with what they've already shown. And then sometimes they don't and that upsets people too. Hint, hint, fireflies. And so this year they only wanted to show features that were very far in the development process to avoid additional failure to deliver. And this is interesting because that means they only have a set of goals for this update as well as a very eclectic set of features. We'll dive into those features later, but the goals are to focus on creativity, self-expression, and intrinsic motivation. All direct quotes from Minecraft Live, and they also want to make the game Minecraftier. This is actually an incredibly interesting start for an update, and the theory is good that if they have all these features now quite far in the development process, that over the next few months we'll actually see new features coming in beta and snapshots, and that will be better not only for the hype of like people following updates, but it means they can respond to the community more. A lot of people think the ancient cities need more loot. They could have worked on that if they weren't so busy doing other things. A lot of people think the mangrove swamp needed more, but it, you know, all these sorts of things are what they learn after they release the updates to the community. Some features are amazing and perfectly polished immediately, and some features need a lot of work, and they don't know until they let us play with them, which is why 1.20 snapshots are starting very soon. They in fact hinted it's just a few days away, you probably heard that earlier in this video, but what will be coming in those early snapshots where we have a list of features which are very far in the development process. So far, in fact, that they're showing us uh, versions of these at Minecraft Live. Uh, you can expect some number of these to be in that first snapshot. But let's start with the first feature in this update, or rather the first 30 features, if you will, because the hanging sign comes in every variant of wood that exists, which is obviously nine types, you might think. There's actually a tenth coming in this update, so ten separate uh, wood types of this sign, and then three different ways to hang it. You can hang it directly underneath a block, you can hang it uh, on the side of a block, kind of diagonally, and then my favorite is you can hang it on a fence to have this weird V-shaped chain. It looks really, really cool, and immediately when I see this, uh, you know, this is really how the trailer inspires me, uh, it immediately makes me want to put those signs underneath something myself. So 30 separate variants, it really is quite a cool thing. It has all the same regular sign mechanics where you can put glow, uh, you know, uh, sacks on there to make it glow a little bit. It's quite cool in my opinion, and I think it's a really basic addition, but it's one that really does add creativity to Minecraft. You know their point about creativity, self-expression, and intrinsic motivation. These things are so simple, but allow you to make your world just a little bit nicer, and I like them for that reason. However, you might be thinking, it's really unsubstantial. It's just a way to sign things. You might not ever use signs because you're a single-player person and you don't believe in text, or you don't read, you know? And so for those of you who don't read, we have the new bamboo wood set. So this is a full new set of planks, or wood blocks, I guess I should say. There's bamboo wood, there's bamboo planks, there's bamboo stairs, there's bamboo slab, there's bamboo fence, there's bamboo fence gates, pressure plates, signs, button doors, it's, it's everything, you know? Uh, personally, I'm a really big fan of these trap doors. This trap door design looks pretty great in my opinion. And uh, yeah, I also think that the uh, overall design of the block is really nice. It does look a bit like birch in some people's opinion, but to me, I just see a really nice new color of wood, just like how uh, Mangrove added a nice color palette. I think the, the bamboo does the same. I don't think it's perfectly realistic. That's not what bamboo looks like perfectly in real life, but I think 
that it's a good addition in my opinion. There's also a brand brand new wood set built on bamboo, so we don't actually know exactly how you get bamboo uh, turned into bamboo wood yet. Is there a brand new bamboo tree? I would not guess so. I guess you can craft the bamboo sticks into this somehow, but you can then craft those bamboo wood blocks you crafted into bamboo mosaic. This is an exclusive set of blocks crafted from the new bamboo wood type and seemingly has the most of, uh, yeah, it seemingly has all of the main wood block types, so you can see it in stairs and slabs here, uh, for example, and honestly, I think this is a really cool vibe for a wood. I think it's effectively giving us two new wood sets. It's not every single thing in the wood set, but it's, it's quite cool in my opinion, just like how we get deep slate and then polished deep slate and then deep slate polished braxter, all those things. Uh, we get bamboo and we get all those variants and then we get bamboo mosaics, which is pretty cool too. We also get a brand new bamboo boat, except the bamboo boat being made from bamboo looks nothing like a boat and instead is a raft. So as far as we can tell in the version they showed at Minecraft Live, this is uh, in function identical to a boat. It has a different model and a different design and I think when you put the chest boat, uh, when you make it into a chest raft I guess, it looks kind of cool, but it's mostly just trying to advertise that this is a slightly different wood type. I would like if they made it in some way gameplay different. I mean, it looks like it should be way easier to capsize and stuff like that. Maybe it does break easier, maybe, who knows? Uh, but right now they haven't confirmed any different functionality besides the appearance, which is, you know, it's a cool thing to have different appearances in an update. If you're that sort of person who likes that, by the way, we got a fun thing uh, coming later. But for now, if you like different looking bookshelves, here is a brand new bookshelf called the Chisel Bookshelf. It's exactly like a bookshelf, but it looks different, and I'm just kidding. It's actually quite cool. It's a storage block which can store up to six books, which, I mean, you'd be boring if you stored six books in here. Instead, you can store enchanted books or books and quills, which will be much more useful, in my opinion, because then you can store stories in a dedicated bookshelf. I've always felt, ever since we've had bookshelves, why do they exist solely as enchantment boosters. Surely we could have a version of the bookshelf that, you know, you, is a shelf for books. But Minecraft has finally added the technology, and honestly, I think it's quite cool. Um, especially because this means you can have a bookshelf with three or four or five books on it, but also you can have a redstone comparator in there, and I knew this was coming before they even showed it, but that means that by putting a redstone comparator on, just like this, you can have a secret entrance which works by pulling out books. I love it so much. It's so fun. Uh, really, really cool uh, addition to Minecraft. I'm looking forward to seeing this one, even though I think in my own personal world I'll just use it to store enchantments, I think that's a cool enough purpose. Here's the question, will it actually work like a regular bookshelf and that'll give more power to an enchantment table? Because that could be a really cool mechanic if there's specific enchantments. You know, like maybe you get more enchantments of a certain type if you're surrounded by that enchantment. I, I don't know how it would work, I think there's lots of weird ways they could use it, and I'd love to see what some of those are. Speaking of some things I'd like to see, um, the, the, the chisel bookshelf also has a cool top pattern. Just just like how regular bookshelves look different underneath, so too does the chiseled bookshelf. So um, yeah, when it comes to uh, mobs in this update, we know of two so far, and I guess I'll, I'll spoil the wait for you right now. The mob that won the Minecraft Live 2022 mob vote, was it the rascal? Was it the tough golem? Uh, was it that other thing? No, it was the camel. The camel officially won the mob vote. We didn't realize we could vote for it, but we all did. And uh, so this is a mob that spawns in the desert biome. It looks about three or four blocks tall. It's about the size of Iron Golem, and uh, it's the first rideable mount outside of the boat, which isn't a mount, it's an inanimate object. It's the first alive object that you can ride with two players. So I would say the basic way you can think of this is a two-player horse, but it's not just a two-player horse, or I would be a little bit, I, I would I would say that's a boring design for a Minecraft feature. So instead, they make it, first of all, spawn in a different biome. Now you can find a horse in the, in the desert if you want to, and also it goes a little bit slower than horses, and it has a lower strafe speed. Its side-to-side -side movement speed is a lot slower, because unlike a horse, which is nimble and quick and can do, you know, car meow meow maneuvers, that's definitely what horses do, trust me. I mean, think about it. Before cars, we had horses, therefore horses have all the same abilities as cars, including if you feed them the right stuff, they go faster for a bit. I'm just saying, horses are cars, tell me I'm wrong. But camels are not cars, and so they are a little bit slower, a little bit clunkier. But to make up for that, First of all, two players, like we mentioned. It's cool, um, and second of all, you have invulnerability on the camel. You're so high up that ca uh, mobs cannot hit you. So you're not actually invulnerable, you just can't be hit by most mobs. I guess a skeleton and a phantom can get you, and let's be honest, those are the mobs that were gonna get you anyway, but still, you're immune from zombies and whatnot, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Also pretty cool is the fact that they have a dash ability. So horses are really good at jumping high, or horses can be good at jumping high. Uh, the camel is designed to be, uh, you know, they, they pick up some 
some speed, and then they can use a dash ability, which is a jump that goes more like that than like that. You know, you get me? It's a, it's an angle jump, allowing you to cross a ravine, or even, we all know the pain of having a horse in a river, they're finally giving us a horse that can cross rivers, it's just not a horse, and it doesn't go as fast, and it's also, uh, spawns in a different biome, but still, the camel, congratulations to our Minecraft 2022 mob vote winner, um, which by the way, if you want to make baby camels, uh, it actually can be fed with cactus blocks, which is apparently what they eat in real life, but, you know, you learn a lesson every day. So, uh, yeah, I think the camel is the first, like, casual mob they've added to Minecraft for a while, where it's like, this is actually cool and useful. They didn't just announce, like, hey, it's a, it's a snake. It exists to be a snake, and you can kill it, and you won't get anything, because don't kill snakes. You're a bad person. Instead, it's, yeah, here is a cool mob. You can ride it and tame it, and they probably love to be ridden in real life. Is that true? I don't know. I like to believe it's true. Just like how I like to believe the camel won the mob vote this year. But you'll never believe who actually did. Um, out of the three mobs, the tough golem, the rascal, the sniffer, it was really close, but the, the sniffer won, and it, was, it wasn't even close. It, they only confirmed it was over 50% of the vote. Every single poll I've seen on social media shows about 70% of people voting for the sniffer, but in reality, we all know that out of the 3.5 million people who voted, it was it was me uh, that shifted over the edge. So uh, yeah, that was uh, you're welcome, Sniffer. I voted for you. Definitely not because people paid me to. Definitely because I believe in the Sniffer uh, as a mob overall. Uh, but yeah, they also announced as well as all of these things. So again, I, I want to quickly clarify. I say all of these things. This is what six major features. You could argue five because the raft is just a identical uh, boat. So there's like five major features because they only wanted to show us things that were further in development. Um, and that is, a, or six if you add the sniffer, but we haven't seen anything about the sniffer, so I imagine that'll come much later. It's a very small announcement for an update, with the only additional features being the seven additional default characters. This is uh, adding variation in ethnicity and, uh, you know, diversity in terms of gender and everything else, uh, because when people open up Minecraft, and I guess the majority of the world isn't white, is probably statistically true, right? Uh, yeah, that's definitely, it, it's more than true. So the majority of the world opening up Minecraft uh, would see that there's just Alex, and Steve, and so they want more people to be immediately represented, and so they're adding seven more skins. Uh, the easy criticism is to say that, well, in Minecraft, you make your own skin anyway, uh, but the goal is that when someone new gets into Minecraft, they can see a skin that represents them, and ultimately, it does make sense that Minecraft's biggest growth is going to be in developing markets, you know, the Indias, the, you know, the Sub-Saharan Africas, etc., and so, you know, if, if, if this is the thing that gives them a better conversion rate in those areas, um, you know, it's it's a, it's, it definitely does feel like it's more of a business decision than one that a player could enjoy, because what are you going to get out of new default characters? If you wanted a skin that looked like any of these, you already could have had one. This is solely for players who don't know you can customize your skin, but still, that is a substantial number of Minecraft players, uh, and indeed, new-to-be Minecraft players, who maybe will feel more represented. The other thing, though, that's key is so, um, they haven't officially announced this one yet, um, but they're going to be doing snapshots and betas a little bit differently this year. So, this comes, uh, they, they tweeted, they, they, they made a post on their website, then they very quickly deleted it, but not so fast. Uh, the, you know, I, I love to hard scope and take copies of these articles. So they haven't officially released this article, they just accidentally did. Uh, snapshots are going to work differently, more like Minecraft Bedrock previews and betas. Instead of just going into the snapshot and all the features being there, you opt into which of the new features you want to use, which I think is smart. I think um, they've been working out, a pr there's been a problem for a while where people just play snapshots like their regular versions of the game, then they get upset because the new features break their world. Now the things in the snapshots will be the things that are mostly finished, ready for the next update. And if you want to get experimental features, you toggle those on. A lot of people don't like this, according to my own Twitter page, but you know what? I think it's perfectly fine. And I also think that this update being quite small right now, I would be very concerned if they didn't give us the preamble and the explanation about where this is going. This has got to be the smallest update announcement we've seen since Buzzy Bees. And before that, you'd have to go a really, really long way back. Um, let, let's be honest, this update is very low on detail so far, but the hope is that they finish these features quickly. I would I would be shocked if before the end of the year we don't have all of these things uh, added to the game, hopefully even the sniffer, and then after that, every single week, if there's an inspiration for something they want to add to the game, they can do that. I think Minecraft, you know, like, uh, I guess any form of art, is really hard to force yourself to make something particular, and so when someone sits down one day and they're like, oh god, I've got to make the 
the warden today or the frogs. I don't know how, I guess frogs are really early actually. I'm going to make the warden today or like uh, work out how how this new, honestly I can't tell you features from 1.19, uh, the, the new chest boats. I'm not excited for chest boats, but I'm going to make them because we promised we'd do them. Um, being instead able to be like, you know what? What if there was, like, a new way to enchant that involved the fletching table? Yeah, I'm going to work on that. So, hopefully, whatever their weird ideas are, whatever the weird inspiration is, uh, they get it, they get it done, and uh, this update is going to be great. But, for now, all I can say is there's going to be a lot about this update coming very, very soon. I imagine, I I'm almost certain, there'll be news coming out between now and tomorrow, because we've got a few days is all we have until the uh, the snapshots release. That, to me, implies next week. Cra if it's crazy push, maybe the week after. Um, but yeah, in the coming days, we'll be learning uh, more about this update. And if you want to learn more about that, you can subscribe to this channel, perhaps with notifications turned on. Speaking of things that you can do, wow, would you like to know uh, more things? Uh, did you know I uh, my Let's Play world is turning... Uh, it's crazy, but it's turning uh, 10 years old tomorrow. I'm very excited for that. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be making a special little tribute to that, as well as probably some form of q and I know we missed Q&A Saturday because of this. So if you have any questions about this update, leave them in the comments down below. Who am I kidding? The questions are already down there. But leave a question if you have one. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope that I'll see you tomorrow for the uh, the, the big event. It's, it's exciting. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.